In Adobe Photoshop, some of the features are now uh, able to use a tool called Content Aware Fill. What this does is allows us to replace something more easily as long as Photoshop is able to determine that there's some sort of pattern behind the scenes. For instance, with this barn right here, if I were to take out the bush in the bottom right hand corner, normally in Photoshop this would be a fairly labor intensive process, but because Photoshop now has content aware fill, if I draw a box around that bush, it should be able to figure out that in fact there are pieces of wood that should just continue down. So I'm just going to draw a box here and hit the delete key on the keyboard. Now typically what happens is this fill box comes up and says do you want to fill it with foreground color but as you can see on the drop down menu there's a content aware selection. So I choose that hit OK, and after it thinks for a second you see it does actually a really wonderful job of filling in the wood grain that would happen behind the scenes anyway. In the same way, let's say I take uh, something like this picture I shot in Mexico, and I want to take the rope out of this. There's a tool called the Spot Healing Brush that will actually paint over the top of this rope. Now before I do this, let me go ahead and zoom in just for a second, and you'll be able to see exactly how well this tool works. Okay, so I'm zoomed in, and uh, I take the Spot Healing Brush, and I'm just going to take a brush that's a little bit bigger than the rope and paint over the top of the rope. And uh, maybe I'll go even a little bit further and paint over the post. There we go. And maybe a little bit more of the rope. When I let go, it thinks about it for a second. And because the grass is fairly easy to fill in, you see it does a really great job of pretending like the rope was never even there in the first place. And this, so this does a really good job of filling in things that were around that spot anyway. But watch what it does in this situation here. So the church is tilted a little bit in this picture. So I'm just going to tilt it so that the steeple goes vertical. So I'm going to highlight the picture, and then I'm going to rotate it a little bit till yeah, it's mostly vertical there. And of course now you've got the corners that aren't filled in at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the quick selection tool from the toolbar, and I'm going to fill in these areas on the sides. So I'm just going to highlight all four corners, by clicking on the quick selection tool and just clicking and dragging over the top of this. Now if I just let it go with this kind of selection I would not get all the way up to the seam where the picture was so I'm going to now expand it just a little bit further so I'm going to go to my select option up at the top of the screen go down to modify and choose expand and maybe expand that about 10 pixels and what you'll see is it covers up the edge a little bit better so at this point now, again, when I hit the delete key on the keyboard, it's going to try to fill this in with content aware. And you probably assume that the content aware feature is going to work well with trees and clouds and stuff, but look how really well this works with the bottom part of the church even, right? You look at the bottom part of the church right there, it fills in the wood pattern, it fills in the trees, of course, the clouds up at the top, and the trees over on the right-hand side. So your content aware features in Adobe Photoshop allow you to fill in anything that it can sort of figure out the pattern of and that way deleting things works a lot easier. That's it for today. Be spectacular at what you do everybody.